<clears throat> so this circuit is really simple. We have a potentiometer connected to the 220 ohm resistor and a green LED here. And what we're going to do is use a program that uses if-then-else statements. And we're going to want to look at our serial monitor. And if the number is below 600, the potentiometer or the uh, LED will turn off. If the reading is above 600 or equal to 600, the LED will turn on. Okay, so this program is super simple. Um, all we have is our variables declared up here. We have our sensor pin, which is going to be our potentiometer, and our LED pin, which is our LED. And so we're going to be looking at this serial monitor over here. And so I have the serial begin statement here. And um, our pin is our output. And so going into the loop, we're going to be looking for our sensor value. And so we need to read that off of the potentiometer. And uh, here we have our sensor values in the serial monitor. But we're going to use that sensor value to determine whether our light, our LED, is going to turn on or off. And so we go into the if-else statement. And so if our sensor value is a number greater than or equal to 600, then we're going to turn our LED on. And if it's not, then our LED is going to turn off. And so right now we're at almost 500. And so our LED is off. And I'm going to demonstrate that shortly. But as I start to turn it, and it gets higher, we're right at 600, and so my light is on right now. And I keep turning it, and I can turn it all, all the way to the 1023, and my light stays on. Same with if I turn it, and right now it just turned off, and I can keep turning it all the way down to zero, and my light stays off. And so that is the if-else statement for a potentiometer. So when we turn this potentiometer, you can tell that it's not actually turned on, um, but the program is running. This just means that the serial monitor hasn't, or um, the potentiometer hasn't read a number over 600 yet. So now it's hit 600 and it's probably at like 650 or 700 or something. So you can keep going and it stays on. But then the second it turns off, or the second it dips below 600, it turns the LED off.